What's happening friends? We are on to our second drawing tutorial of the day and our um, suggestion comes from a uh, young YouTube gamer who asked me um, to draw this guy who is quite a throwback. And when I heard the name, it just kind of like brought back all of these memories from being about uh, eight to 10 years old. So our shout out comes from Shafiq is and uh shafiq asked if i would draw ultraman um so if you're not familiar with ultraman <laughs> he kind of looks like an aquatic shape if that makes sense sort of iron man from japan kind of thing and and kind of like rigid and robotic but human-like um and I had a, I had about a 12 inch figure with the, the moving arms and legs when I was about eight, 10 years old, kind of like this guy. Um, similar in color. So you can move your legs, you can move your arms, and then you can like twist the head around and do stuff like, I'm gonna put him away for now. Um, and uh, anyway, he sort of looks like an early Power Ranger, but like cooler, like if he was like, the sweetest one, that's Ultraman. Um, and there's, uh, he, there's like giant versions of him and like different suits of him and all sorts of stuff. So we're gonna go with like, not the old, old, old school, but really like the uh, the baseline like that, that he kind of turned into during his prime. Um, and so a lot of gray, a lot of red, and a little bit of like yellow in the eyes. So let's take a look. This is what Ultraman is sort of gonna look like. So this will give you a uh, overview and you might go, oh, I've seen that guy. I've seen that guy, it's cool because uh, being a young gamer, he thought it was something new. I was like, I know exactly who you're talking about. Back, he's probably back from when my parents were kids, you know, cause I'm pretty old, but not that old. Um, anyway, let's get into the creation stage and check it out! Alright, here we are about to draw Ultraman. Today's drawing is going to be, uh, fairly simple, but going to require precision. So that's what we're focusing on today is precision, making it precise. So we're going to start with, like, this whole centerpiece, and we're going to have, like, a chest, a neck, a mouth, and so we're gonna have our sort of nose area start right about here. And we're just gonna go up about as high as we can. And then we're just gonna kind of extend the line slightly diagonal up, wider than we did at the bottom. Now, at the bottom, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to meet that bottom line nice and great okay so um we're gonna have our eyes right about here but what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect to a mouth that we have going on so i'm gonna go out a little bit to the left and an even amount of space to the right then i'm gonna go slightly up with the diagonal slightly up with the diagonal and we're gonna draw that line straight back in and draw that line straight back in okay now we're gonna we're gonna imagine our mouth is gonna come down about so much and we're gonna draw a line about three times the thickness of that center nose piece and we're gonna bring it down like that if you could imagine a robot goatee <laughs> that's sort of what it looks like all right, so not right up at the top, but sort of near the middle. We're going to create a curve line going down. And then the same thing on our edge, curve line going down. All right, imagine on the other side, pretty much the same thing. Curve line coming down, curve line coming down. All right, now... It, it, it sort of got like a robot tongue. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this kind of rounded bar of soap looking shape kind of coming down like 
like this, I guess. And then we're just gonna sort of color in the gaps, you know, as if it were a shadow. All right, up here, across here, kind of through here, and then down a little bit. All right, so that will be his mouth. Now we're gonna kind of just go slightly at an angle over and we're gonna do these like ear box things. All right, and it's gonna slant down at an angle and up at a shorter angle, kind of like a parallelogram. And it's gonna go out like that. And then that's just gonna kind of continue itself. Um, and it's gonna kind of aim upward. All right and out like that. So you get that sort of 3D looking box shape. All right, so on the opposite side, we're gonna go angled and we're gonna do up like a parallelogram, pretty much straight up and then out a little bit more, kind of cross. All right, we're gonna go slightly angled up a little bit more we're gonna pretty much go in a straight line up, down, out, and across. All right, so we got those two boxes. Now, this is where we're gonna kind of tie in an arc in the head. How about right about here? And we wanna arc down to the outer edge of the box. Okay, so we're trying to get to here. And arc out to the outer edge of the box. There we go. Whew. I had a tough time on that part on my first one, so that's one of the areas where just really practice makes perfect. Now, if you're gonna imagine, it's gonna come out about halfway to the chin. So we're gonna come out about halfway out of that parallelogram to the chin. All right, so we've got the whole basic face drawn out. Now, the eyes are gonna be curved a little bit. So it's gonna be pretty much a circle, but it looks sort of like an egg. And we're gonna make an even shape uh, outline inside of it, or you can call it an inline since it's inside of the outline. Um, we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, trying to make sort of a circle, or I guess an oval. And we have our inline, outline, whatever you wanna call it going on in there. And then the idea is that this curves into the back of the head. So we're gonna have that go down a little bit. Now, we're gonna work on the neck and we're gonna give it a little bit of movement. Okay, so we're gonna kinda have that turn and we're gonna have it angled down. We're gonna make one side a little bit longer. All right, and in order to kinda really show that effect, we're gonna have the chest plate come across just like that. And then we're gonna have a shoulder drawn up in here and go down and in. And we're gonna have part of a shoulder coming down and part of a shoulder coming out. Okay, same thing on the other side, except we're gonna extend our shoulder area by the neck before we start putting on that chest plate, which is gonna curve down, and then we're gonna have that sort of follow, turn in and go down, and then our kind of shoulder pad right there, with a little bit of space in between. So, those are all the basic drawing details that we're really going to need, but the color is going to bring it to life. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to work on the text. And so for the text, we're going to have the large block letters, U. All right, then the L is uh, really small and drops down below the U a little bit. And that makes way for the T, which is still not as tall as the U, kind of coming across. And we're gonna go with a big R here. Like 
that and then a smaller size A. Little triangle in the middle. All right, big M. And down like that. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is a smaller size A right here and a large N at the end and we're gonna squeeze it in because of spacing, but you know, I'm just gonna kinda work with what I have, make it as best as I can. Ultraman. And I'm gonna throw my signature in the bottom and then we're gonna add some color. All right, now for color, we're gonna use a lot of gray in our face, body, everything like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I want it to look shiny, so I'm just uh, kind of putting it on lightly. All right, I'm gonna do these two areas first. And uh, I'm gonna pastel blend. I got a little bit of red in there, that's okay. That could be a little reflection, a little mark of texture, whatever you wanna call it. All right, I'm gonna do the straight down area next and go around the lip. A little goatee thing around here and the center robot tongue bar of soap looking thing. You know, that's one of the funny things about superheroes and robots is they got all these weird shapes. It's like, you know, the good Lord made us humans or nature or whatever you want to believe. And uh, really men create these robots, men, men and women, you know, people. Um, so a lot of times we're deriving off things that we see, things that we've created. Um, you know, I, I feel like uh, creators often lack that inclination of uh, making something that may look super inspired by nature. And when they do, those things tend to stand out a little bit more. So in my mind, uh, this uh, superhero has a very factory produced kind of effect. Like I see inspiration from cars. I see inspiration from products. I see inspiration from household items, um, you know, things like that. And uh, it, it almost has a level of humor to it that uh, sometimes makes it uh, either a little bit more fun or whimsical or sometimes just really hard to take seriously, you know, which is, which is okay um, to each his own. And, uh, as we do know, a, a lot of times these comics and these uh, cartoons uh, are, are here to entertain us, for one, maybe teach us a lesson um, for another, something like that. So, you know, the seriousness of it doesn't have to be extreme, if that makes sense. So we're getting uh, some of the gray in here, making it a little grayer. All right. And we're going to do the body. And there's a lot of gray in this one, so I'm just kind of trying to keep a consistent motion with my pastel strokes. As if I was, you know, say polishing something, cleaning a window, you know, wax on, wax off. You want to have a, a direction that's consistent and it creates good uh, visual movement in your artwork. Um, all right, so we're gonna leave the glowing edge around the eyes pretty white. Okay, so I'm gonna get my yellow in there. I'm just, you know, the gray of my hand will kind of, you know, dull the color a little bit. And then we have one last section. We're gonna kind of do the neck here. Okay, we're gonna kind of do below the neck, above the chest. Okay, and we're gonna do down here. We're gonna do the arms, and we're gonna.
want to do these arms. All right. This. Get this down like that. A little bit more in the bottom. And there you have it. There is our throwback 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and today here are Ultraman. Hope you all have a fabulous day. Like, subscribe, send some more suggestions in the comments, and have an awesome weekend!